You have probably heard that in ancient times, when humans were still living in caves and evolution was still in its infancy, the Earth was ruled by giant monsters that now remain only in fossil form. But the truth is a bit more complicated. Hello everyone. For example, even those dinosaurs, many of them were as small as humans or even smaller. And the blue whale, the largest animal ever known to scientists, is a new creature, roughly our own age. Nonetheless, there is some truth in the typical image that many people have of them and monstrous creatures such as the Patago Titan, Kalenken and Titanoboa did indeed exist. We will introduce you to these once real monstrous animals. What in the world kind of monsters swaggered the earth? Let's take a look now. Megatherium The modern sloth is a relatively small mammal that is somewhat comical, friendly and slow moving. But in fact, until quite recently, there was a fearsome relative that, rather than making us get healed and smile, sent us into a panic. Imagine a sloth as large as an elephant, or even larger, standing upright. That is exactly what the Megatherium is. Megatherium is the most recent of the animals we will introduce here. It is younger than Australopithecus and the last species is said to have been exterminated by the present humans about 15,000 years ago. Inhabiting the Americas, despite their frightening appearance, they were herbivorous animals and did not seem to be particularly aggressive. That said, it is unlikely that anyone would want to approach it recklessly and be struck by its long clawed limbs. Patagotitan Question, what is the largest dinosaur in history? You will probably answer Tyrannosaurus rex, but this is wrong. Paleontologists have already determined that there were even larger dinosaurs than Tyrannosaurus. The biggest of them all is believed to be Patagotitan, which was discovered in 2008 in the Patagonia region of Argentina. Researchers estimate that young individuals are 30 to 37 meters long and weigh 50 to 69 tons. That means they were about 3 times larger and 5 to 6.5 times heavier than a Tyrannosaurus. Perhaps they would not have noticed at all, even if they had stepped on humans and others. Arthropleura Do you have an aversion to centipedes? other crawling or biting insects, or creepy arthropods in general? If so, we know what your worst nightmare looks like. Let us introduce you to it, Arthropleura. Arthropleura lived approximately 345 to 295 million years ago, during the late coal period and early Permian, in what is now North America and Scotland, and possibly also in Germany, Poland and Belgium. The smallest of these giant centipedes can grow to 30 centimeters in length and the species called Arthropleura armata can grow to a whopping 2.5 meters. Arthropleura armata is thought to be the largest terrestrial invertebrate ever found at this time. The atmosphere at that time was more oxygen rich than it is today, which allowed it to grow to an enormous size. But in subsequent geological eras, including the present day, such a large invertebrate would have suffocated quickly and would not have been able to exist. Acolopterus Let's go back even further in time and meet another kind of monster that has become a fossil. Look, it's Acolopterus reneniae, a crab that could probably easily tear apart a human being. Strictly speaking, Acolopterus is not a crab but a member of the sea scorpion family, the primitive arthropods that lived in various bodies of water from the Ordovician to the late Permian period. These giant creatures lived about 400 million years ago during the late Devonian period. The largest that scientists have been able to identify is 2.5 meters in length, but theoretically larger individuals could have existed. It is interesting to note that the sea scorpion may have been one of the first species to master air intake breeding. 
Some scientists believe that they may have been able to stay on land for several hours. Imagine this, you're strolling along a sandy beach when all of a sudden, a crab bigger than you appears right in front of you. Isn't that too scary? Inostrancivia During the Permian periods, millions of years before the dinosaurs appeared, the most dangerous predator was Gorgonops. This primitive scaleless but reptile-like Theropsida terrorized herbivores throughout the geological ages of that time. The largest of the Gorgonops species, that is the Inostrancivia, which inhabited what is now Russian territory. It is said to have been over 3 meters long and weighed about 300 kg. If one were to encounter such a monster, there would be no chance of survival for an unarmed person except to flee immediately. It is interesting to note that the appearance and tooth structure of Inostrancivia are very similar to those of saber-toothed tiger which appear much later than them and were not their descendants. This phenomenon of organisms that are not genetically related but have similar lifestyles and occupy the same position in an ecosystem acquiring similar traits is called convergent evolution by scientists. Pelagornis sandersi about 25 million years ago, a bird called Pelagornis sandersi inhabited the land of South Carolina in the United States. It is one of the largest and most famous flying birds in the world of science. When it spreads its wings, it reaches 6 to 7.5 meters and weighs 40 kg. What is most amazing is that despite its huge size, it could actually fly. Considering that they were probably carnivores, one can only feel sorry for their prey. They even had tooth-like spikes on their beaks. You can imagine how fearsome the Pelagornis was as a flying monster. Who wouldn't want to encounter such a bird on a walk in a wild forest? If anyone could compete with them, it was probably only Argentavis. Argentavis weighed over 70 kg, was estimated to be 5 to 6.5 meters long, with its wing spread, and like Pelagornis sandersi, was a carnivorous predator. It would have been thrilling to see these two types of monstrous birds fight, but we will probably never have the chance to actually see them. Because Argentavis lived in Argentina, long after Pelagornis, around 9 to 6.8 million years ago. Kellenken Another type, as a representative of feathered monster we would like to introduce, is the Forest Rackus family of bird. This huge, flightless bird appeared in what is now South America about 62 million years ago and quickly took the place of the carnivorous dinosaurs that became extinct millions of years earlier. And they persisted for a very long time after that. The latest specimens identified are only 18,000 years old. It was not humans, but competition from carnivorous mammals that began migrating to South America around 2.7 million years ago when the Isthmus of Panama was formed that caused the extinction of the Forest Rackus family of birds. The competition for a place in the ecosystem lasted a long time, but eventually the giant birds lost the battle. One of the most outstanding members of the Forest Rackus family was a monstrous bird called Kellenken. They lived in Patagonia about 15 million years ago. The head alone was over 70 centimeters long and a whopping 3.2 meters tall. Every time they caught up with their prey, they must have delivered a powerful blow with their huge beaks. No one could have survived their special moves. Some say, however, that they were carrion eaters, feeding mainly on the carcasses of living creatures and that their fearsome appearance may have made their rivals flinch. Titanoboa This giant snake, Titanoboa, lived in what is now Colombia about 60 million years ago. It is estimated to have reached a length of 12 meters and weighed over one ton at times. It is therefore considered to be the largest snake ever recorded. Classically, it was a member of the modern boa subfamily and theoretically could strangle almost any prey by coiling it around. They lived only after the extinction of the dinosaurs, but having lived in the same area, they might have been too much even for the giant lizards. Interestingly, however, 
Despite being so powerful, Titanoboa seemed to have preferred to eat fish. That concludes today's video. Thank you for watching. This is of course not the only prehistoric monster we can introduce to you all. Paleontologists have determined that a variety of terrestrial, flying and land-based monsters existed on Earth for hundreds of millions of years since the Cambrian period. If this video is well received, we would like to prepare the second one, so please give us a high rating or subscribe to our channel so we know if you want a sequel. Of course, we are looking forward to receiving your wish for a sequel in the comments section. With that, we bid you adieu for a little while. See you next time. Goodbye.